Hey guys, check this out. Last video, I talked about polyphenols found in fungi, including mushrooms. We'll take a look over here. Last thing we did was we broke down the four basic types of polyphenols. The first one was flavonoids. So that's what I want to talk about this time. So flavonoids, I went on the internet and Googled flavonoids found in mushrooms. And the very first thing that came up was that flavonoids are not found in mushrooms. But I challenged the internet because I did my own research and some of the latest studies have shown that there are flavonoid compounds found in fungi. And on top of that, they actually found genetic coding for them to produce flavonoids. They're not just absorbing, absorbing them from nature around them. So this is the primary one I wanted to talk about that they have found in turkey tail. Can you see this here? We have quercetin. You can look this one up too online. It's found in onions, for example. But I'm not getting onions in the middle of January out here in these woods, but I can find turkey tail. This right here, I want, I get a little geeky with the chemistry here, but these hydroxyl groups attached to this molecule and this double bonded oxygen in this hydroxyl group, these allow a charge to attach to ions. So these are great for chelating heavy metals and removing them from your body, but also they can attach to other free radical particles that can bind to these and help flush them out. These are, by the way, these polyphenols are water soluble, so you will urinate them out of your system. Hey, great for anti-aging, anti-cancer, you name it. We'll pick up on some other polyphenols, but I wanted to touch base, or I'm sorry, flavonoids. That's where it's at. Hey, Let's do this again next time. Subscribe for more if you haven't already. Like and leave me a comment if you want to dive even deeper on some of these compounds. Thanks.